According to AZ Central, the White House and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, have revealed intentions to construct a second chip facility in Arizona. That would significantly reduce the United States' dependence on imports of semiconductors and increase the company's investment in the state from $12 billion to $40 billion. Together, the two TSMC plants will generate 600,000 wafers per year. Ronnie Chatterjee of the National Economic Council told CNBC, once finished, these two plants may supply the whole U.S. demand for U.S. chips at scale. That is the definition of a resilient supply chain. We will not have to depend on anyone else to manufacture the necessary chips. By 2026, the newly announced plant will manufacture cutting-edge 3 nanometer semiconductors. This is one of the biggest foreign direct investments in the United States and the largest in Arizona. TSMC has recently updated its plans for its first plant, revealing that it would now produce 4 nanometer wafers, as opposed to 5 nanometer wafers. Apple and NVIDIA will allegedly be among the first clients when chip production begins there in 2024. The Chips and Science Act allocated $52.7 billion in loans and other incentives, in addition to billions more in tax credits to stimulate investment in U.S. semiconductor production. The proposal seeks to increase private funding for semiconductor manufacture in the United States. Later today, President Joe Biden is scheduled to visit the site of TSMC's first factory, but the White House released other relevant information yesterday. The U.S. Department of Commerce and the European Commission are reaching an agreement to develop an early warning system for interruptions in the semiconductor supply chain after a trial study conducted last summer. The objective is to enhance semiconductor supply and demand predictions in order to establish a balance between the two. Simultaneously, the EU and the United States are developing a transparent framework regarding public backing for the semiconductor industry. In other words, neither party will surprise the other with semiconductor subsidies that may disadvantage them in the marketplace. During the recent visit of French President Macron, EU officials argued that the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act was unjust to non-American businesses. That's it for today, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check our website at www.techwiki.co. Thanks for watching.